All right, a um, couple injuries. Uh, one, uh, one's a sickness with a Clyde, and then uh, Bolton was excused, and it's not, not an injury uh, for personal reasons. So we look forward to the challenge of playing the Jags. Good football team. I think we all know that. And uh, um, anyways, with that time, yours. Andy, uh, how did Travis and Chris Jones work in practice? Yeah, they did, they did a good job, yeah. They're, so they'll, you know, as long as nothing happens, they'll be out there. If nothing happens, they'll be out there? Yeah. Okay. Any idea of workload for those guys? No. Chris, uh, it seems like when we talked to him in, in Spags, he wants to play a lot, probably. You guys will probably have to, if yeah. you don't want him out there a bunch, maybe try to bring him back a little bit. He wants to be there. Yeah, we'll see. see <coughs> As you guys get through the uh, tape of Jacksonville, we know they're a really good team that's hungry. You guys have played them a bunch this last year or so. Anything to stick out to you as you work through that's going to be a different challenge than maybe you saw earlier in the week? Uh, no, I mean, they're a real good football team. Uh, got good speed. I mean, uh, number zero is the, the newest of the bunch, and he's very, very good. So we know that. Anything else? <coughs> All right. You guys finally got it right. Good afternoon. What's it going to mean to have Chris Jones back? Uh, it's great, man. He's a force. So, you know, again, that piece back to the puzzle, man, you know, that's it's a Stepped up when their number was called. They came ready. You know, that whole week of preparation, guys were stepping up day in, day out. So it wasn't really no surprise to me that when it came game time, guys played their tails off. They were doing it all week. So translated to the game. I understand you're a 
team guy, how did it feel based on all the work you've had to get a sack in that first game and just start on the right foot there? It felt great because, you know, um, we rushed as one. We try to play as a unit, you know. Um, it felt great getting that done. Looking forward to this this week. You know, again nine five back. You know, uh, you know, generate more sacks together as a unit, and you know, I'm looking forward to it. How much do you guys enjoy just Chris's presence being there, knowing that that probably means one on ones for us? It is great, man. You know, he's a character off the field. You know, he's a great guy, a great teammate. You know, a leader in the room. You know, somebody you can look to that has information that can help you. And on the field, it's great. You know. Uh, it opens it up for everybody. You got another dynamic piece on the field that can make plays and with the best of them. And uh, it is great to have them back. Mike, Trevor, uh, Lawrence is one of those young guys, young QBs in the league, man. What's, what kind of problems does he pose as you watch him? Come on, come. Trevor Lawrence is a gunslinger, man. You know, he's uh, he's up there with the uh, top of the QBs that, you know, be throwing that ball, man. He's a he, he, he can use his feet, make plays, extend plays. He got a great arm. Uh, the running backs are great, so he got a great unit behind him. But uh, he's a great football player, great, smart, you know, uh, looking forward to playing him. But uh, he's a hell of a player, you know, gunslinger who can throw the rock anywhere. So uh, exciting football player. Mike, uh, understanding that Charles won't be back for another few weeks, but what do you feel like your group is capable of? What were your expectations for you? On um, just being a force in the game, man, you know, uh, finding ways to dominate each and every snap. You know, that's what we expect out of each other. Uh, I trust the guy next to me to handle his business just as much as I want to handle mine. Uh, looking forward to getting him back in a few weeks. But uh, while he's out, you know, we just focus on, you know, uh, one step at a time. You know, we just got 9-5 back. We're happy to have him back. So when, when we get all the pieces, it's going to be even better. You're a Michigan guy. Was that especially difficult loss for you uh, last week? Yeah, my Michigan people was on my toe. For, they still on my toe right now. <laughs> but it's okay, man. We moved on. It was a great game. And, uh, Looking forward to this week. How, how many people did you have there? I had about about 15 to 20. 20 is, uh, yeah, I'd say 12 to 20 people. It was everybody from Detroit, my family, friends, close friends, and it was great to have the support. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Thank Mike. you, guys. All right, guys.